common question we get is how do you prevent ink from building up on the back of your screen? This is the highlight white. This was the last screen in the five color dragon design that we did in our last class. This is after the students have printed 10 pelons and then 20 shirts, two shirts each. And then we've come back and printed 10 shop shirts on top of that. So we got a total of about 40 prints on here. We you do not prevent buildup. What we can do is we can control it um, on that and minimize it. And some of the key fundamentals is first, on a manual press or automatic, you'll need um, a, a tight screen. Nice snare drum, mid 20 newtons or higher. Also mesh count. 230 we find on printing wet on wet is going to be your best mesh count for a manual press. You can go down as low as about 180 on an automatic but um, uh, typically on the 230s will give you a better result. Also your coating, you need to be coating at least two in one. On that, if you don't, you don't have a, a, a nice EOA, an ultra double mesh, a nice stencil. On that, we want that to be about a 15 to 20% range on there. The off contact, you have to have off contact sit, about a 16th of an inch, and that applies back to your tension if you have an a inexpensive screen or an old screen that is loose, um, uh, you're not going to have that. Then lastly, we're looking at is going to be our squeegee. You need to be 70 durometer or um, higher, 70, 90, 70, 60, 90, 60, um, all of those will work, but you cannot use a soft squeegee. We can see the buildup now as we're looking through the screen on here. And lastly, we're going to be dealing with controlling speed, angle, and pressure of our print. If we have too much of a variance in that, our buildup is going to fall in different positions. It's going to fall high, low, medium, medium high, medium low, etc. Also, pressure, um, particularly printing half tones. Um, uh, I mean, but even printing vector as well, but it's magnified on half tones. We can get dot gain. Remember, we're printing a couple of flash under base white. Too much pressure, you can get dot gain. Way too much pressure, we're going to get dot distortion on that. On a vector image, you'll see that the edges start to get fuzzy um, on the image itself. And all we're going to do is we're just going to come to the, um, uh, this is going to be a flood and a print. We're just going to print the image and the highlight white that is on the back of the screen. We're going to do one stroke, 70 durometer with firm pressure just to transfer the buildup from the back of the screen to our pellet. And as we come in, we can see that the buildup here, we can still see the dragon's eye. We can come into her, we can see facial features as we zoom in, parts of her crown, the stitching along her robe. This right here is just the buildup. This is just the ink that is on the back of the screen down here. So if you control the variables, beautiful buildup is a beautiful print. Hope this helps, and as always, thanks for watching.